Lockdown is the latest COVID-19 inspired movie. Uh, it stars Anne Hathaway and Chiwetel Ejiofor. Nice, um, nailed it. <laughs> directed by Doug Liman, who did Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which is the most underrated fucking movie of the 2000s. So I agree. Sorry, so I love hard. it. So hard to disagree. It made me want to cheat on my spouse. So this one, it, it was marketed as this like COVID-19 heist thriller. Like what's going to happen? Uh, not that. No. So it is well, basically a relationship drama it is, for yeah. four fifths of the movie. Mm -hmm. The last fifth it does get into some heist territory. But yeah, it actually turns into a heist thing. Yep. Um, but yeah, so it's basically Anne Hathaway and she was all as you for have been living together for a while. They've been in a relationship for five or ten years. I don't know. It was a, a while. Time. No, it's yeah. a long decade. Yeah, it's yeah, been over a decade. It's yeah. a long term relationship. Yeah. So and basically, Anne Hathaway was ready to end things, but then they get stuck in quarantine, and so they're stuck together for two weeks. This is at the beginning of lockdown when we thought it was just going to be two weeks. We didn't yeah. know what to expect. <laughs> so uh, oh, everything was the basically them counting down to when the two weeks are up because they are miserable with each other. Anne Hathaway is super miserable. She's very type A. She's very work focused. She is a new CEO of a company. Uh, he is can't keep a job. He's an ex-con. So there's a lot of antithesis in their relationship um what do you think yeah i mean it's 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 fun you know it's it's light-hearted it is not the worst quarantine movie i've seen nope no it's not songbird songbird absolutely uh yeah like i said it, th there's there's good parts there's parts that made me laugh there's parts that were sort of emotional ish um but i mean it's it's kind of it's fine. It's a fine movie. I'd say I feel a little bit more positive about it than that, but still the same, it's the same general feeling. Like it was, it was good and it was fun, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. um, their performances were good and fun, and that's that's kind of it. Um, the the whole thing that made me feel weird about their relationship was kind of like the stereotypical like like archetypes that they put these characters into it was like Anne Hathaway was the CEO of who is very type A and she was like mm -hmm. oh you are this type A and that was her character you know it wasn't like a whole lot outside of that until way later when we got like the backstory on their relationship and stuff yeah. um which was pretty good but it wasn't super like fleshed out it wasn't a lot you know it was like Anne Hathaway is a CEO and that's what she is uh, and then the same with him, he was, uh, like a biker guy and he was like <laughs> a, a wild heart, you know, he was just that. And that's what he was. That's what his character was based off of. And it just felt a little, a little shallow as far as the yeah, characters absolutely. go. Um, but I did enjoy it. I liked it. It was fun. Um, I did not see any trailers or hear anything about this movie before, mm -hmm. um, watching it. So I did not know this was actually going toward a heist situation. Oh, okay. So I thought this was going to be just a relationship drama yeah. in quarantine. So that's what I was going in watching, and I was like, okay, this is what I thought. You know, it's funnier than I expected. Yeah. Um, it, it was fun to watch. And then it did turn into a heist, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> they are actually doing this. Like, what in the world? And that was really cool to go into this yeah. and be like, oh, fuck, we're going there. We're doing this. This is a heist movie. This is happening. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise at the end. That made it more fun for me towards yeah. the end. So I think that probably boosted the score a little bit because everything else was just kind of okay, and that's yeah. about it. I think that goes to show you how marketing affects perception and like what we expect in a movie. Because mm -hmm. I was expecting it to be a straight up heist film. Yeah. Like I was thinking like Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, because yeah, she like was Ocean, just in Ocean's Eight. Yeah, like Ocean's Eleven meets I don't want to say Songbird. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> like, Songbird. that type of movie. And, yeah. So I think Anne Hathaway, uh, I, I love her. Mm -hmm. She's one of my favorites, and people sleep on her, and it pisses me off because I think she's always good, and that she's always having fun Agreed. and doing something different yeah. every Agreed. time. Uh, she would tell is also great. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they elevate it to be more than just, like, rampant pedestrianism mm -hmm. because it's yep. pretty 
not great writing. And like, there are some good scenes. Like there, like she gets some one-liners every once in a while. There's yeah. a scene in the bedroom or I don't remember what she said, but I was dying laughing. But uh, I don't know, this is, Stephen Knight wrote this. Uh, 2019, he had a movie dropped in January also. It was called Serenity, and it is the most bonkers fucking movie I've seen in so long. <laughs> and it's Anne Hathaway and Matthew McConaughey and Diane Lane. And there, uh, wow. there's a bunch of people. Oh, who, I know what you know, you're talking about. Yes. And it has, it has a twist. Like, yeah. this movie has a twist with the heist, I guess, even yeah. though it's not a that twist. That movie's twist is like, what? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. It's a out of nowhere doesn't make any fucking sense kind of M. Night Shyamalan mid 2000s twist. Okay. But I don't know. This one, uh, in most, it worked sometimes. I think it didn't work as much as it worked. I think if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't have been as fun. There is a cool set piece Definitely. at the end with the heist. Mm -hmm. They are in, like, oh shit, what is the Harrods, right? Yes. Harrods. And that's like, they actually got to film in Harrods too because it was in lockdown. And so they actually yeah. got to use the real place in London, <laughs> which I thought was kind of fun. Yeah. But I mean, it was free on HBO Max, and I got HBO Max free for a year, so I can't really complain. I don't know. There was a lot of filmmaking decisions at the beginning with like, I'm so fucking sick of seeing Zoom. Like oh, just oh, yes. because of I school know. and teaching and like stuff like that. Like I'm so over it already. Yeah. And then like it wouldn't, it didn't know when to use it because it like would randomly come out of it and like look at them. So that they needed to kind of figure that out some more, I think. And uh, I don't know. It, there was like random cameos and stuff and it felt like they were just like, shoved in there yeah, yeah just yeah. throwing people in yeah um the zoom thing i do uh agree that i i hate that at this point it almost feels like uh when uh people take selfies in a commercial or something mm -hmm. it's like jesus come on like who, yeah. are you, who are you playing toward here but um uh, i think they handled it pretty well by playing with expectations which is what i thought that they were doing with that mm -hmm. because it starts off on zoom and you're like oh shit here we go this is going to be one of these but then it cuts out and shows like an actual like framed shot that looks like a, a, a movie, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like Zoom. So I think it was kind of playing with that expectation of like, this is what you were expecting and this is what it's actually gonna be. This is going to be an actual movie. It's not gonna be yeah. like a, it's almost like found footage, you know, it's like, don't do it, you know? Well, and this is, this is only the fourth, I think, pandemic movie we've seen. We've had Songbird, we've had Host, and we've had Borat, a subsequent movie film. And like... Yeah, that one... I mean, but, it was shot in the middle. Yeah, of the, I guess, it, yeah, I guess technically it, it is. I mean, it, yeah, it is. But yeah, Zoom type things are prevalent in a lot of other things. So like TV shows and just everywhere. It's everywhere right now. And I'm sure it's they really all had the idea at the same time. They're like, let's they use did. this yeah, because it's relevant. It. Yeah. I'm over it. Yeah, same. This, and it was, I think it had to have... Like, I think they came up with the idea a year ago because it was in March, like, when everything was going on. You see March on the billboard or something like yeah. that. Or, so, not a well, billboard, and they're but talking it, about it being two-week lockdown. Yeah. So. <laughs> and they locked it down before us because, well, let's not get into that. Yeah. They were in Europe. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, we also need to talk about the breakout star, top build, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, the amazing. Hedgehog's name was Sonic. Yeah, mm. and he's top build. Is he? First in the credits first and first on IMDb. Yeah, he wow. is literally top build. And he is no lie probably in 45 seconds of the movie. Yeah. Well, he was great, though. He was amazing. <laughs> I mean, look out, people. He is coming. I'd rather watch that than the Sonic Hedge the Hedgehog movie that came out last year. Hot take. Not really. Is it? <laughs> it's a warm take, maybe. Mm. Um, do you guys have anything else? No. Good. Pretty good. Liked it. Let's do scores. I gave it a 60. Mm -hmm. Thought it was totally fine. Totally okay. Yeah. I gave it a 62. 60 as well. Don't confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a 61. Middle of the road. Didn't hate it. I don't yeah. know how I became more positive on things because I feel like I'm the negative one. Like, Chris is an asshole, but I'm pretty negative. And so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, your scores are way lower than me on some of these, and it surprises me. Our number is 60. We watch it, don't, I don't care. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I liked it. Thanks it for watching. Fun. Thanks. Bye. No.